Well guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're here today in a massive house in Belgium. Looking forward to showing you around. It's a mansion. It is basically, yeah, it's a is mansion. It, I think they call it man, mansion. Mansion, yeah. Mansion in French. We're down in the basement at the moment. We're gonna head upstairs, start to explore from the ground floor, head to the top, and we'll finish off down in here. I mean, you know what to do guys. Hit that like, drop us a comment. Hit that little subscribe button as well. It, you know, it, treat yourself to future explorers because we've got a lot coming up. But anyway. <laughs> I hate when people say stuff like that. No, no. <laughs> if, there, if she can do any history if on it. If I can it, find history, I, I will try to find history. Um, it'll be. It'll be literally. Coming right. up now. <laughs> See you up there. Right guys, we will start at the front door and I uh, just want to show you what this looks like. The main entrance and look at this. You have two huge, great mirrors that are at this entrance, either side. And the work of art that is up here is amazing. And you come down, you've got this archway and as you'll see, Megan's in like the main hall area. And as you come up, first thing on the right is the main staircase leading up to the top. Um, you might hear it's a bit echoey. The reason it is echoey, obviously, it's a very big place. I think first off, let's have a little look in here. It looks like bathroom. People have gone through it. It's a bit, little bit trash, but look at that. I wonder if that's a, this doesn't feel like a sticker or anything. It actually feels like the design of the sink. I wonder if the toilet's like it. Oh wow, it is a floral toilet. It's absolutely nuts. Show you this, look at the cobwebs and the decay. I love these little curtains that are hanging up on here. Oh, oh. Get myself out of here. Back into the grand hall, we should call it. Unfortunately, you've got this Zimmer frame that's there. Someone has graffitied over this archway, but look at it. The way it's designed is beautiful, isn't it? Look at that, that light fitting. Chandelier. Here's a chandelier, isn't it? Wow. That 
absolutely nuts. Loving that. I'm liking the decay and that on the, on the roof. Ceiling. The ceiling, sorry, yeah. But the whole decay and it's all peeling away. And these big draped curtains hanging down on the door. On the outside doors and windows. Very nice. And as you'll see, like, up here on the top corner, it's sort of like a gold leaf fittings, amazing. And this above the doorway. So down in here is the kitchen. We will head to that in a short while. Uh, again, not sure what the one this heads to. But hey, you see all them fittings at the top there. It's incredible. So we'll come into what I would assume is possibly the dining room. And wow, this place is amazing. We've got all the settees and now set up there. Fireplace there. And guys, look at this. You've got the bar set up and you've got all this furniture. Looks like it's all set up, ready for drinks, must say. Loving the uh, sort of pink velvet. That's with it, purpley. No, all of that's set up as if it's ready to have a party. Show you this bar area. Looks like a load of barbies and that all set up along here. All the booze, a bit of Christmas decoration. There's the odd toys and that down there. And look at all of these bottles. I wonder how long they've been there for. Be quite interesting to know. You've got all your wine rack in that down here. And all the booze. Wow. It's a lovely little bar area, isn't it? What you do just sort of capture. Oh, I think I'm going to capture it from this angle again, but love it. You've got these huge curtains as well. The flower pot is dead. Should I say the flower is dead? And you'll see the garden. There's quite a lot of overgrowth there. I guess as we sort of head over, got these recliner chairs, pretty cool. And as you'll see, there's one fully reclined out. Amazing. Loving that fireplace. You know me guys, I'm a huge fan of the fireplaces. And I'm loving that. It must have been so nice to sit down on the chairs and chill by the fire on them cold nights. Is this, yeah, all wood round there. That wooden beam, really nice. Got a photo of somebody down there. Maybe a family member, a bit of writing there. Uh, come back. Wow, all the fag butts and that. And the drinks are poured out as if somebody recently sat here and had a tipple. Beautiful photos there. So we've got the old uh, stereo system. Quite old. I'm loving these little trinket pieces. And the family photos that come along with it. Beautiful. Really is nice. I imagine TV would have come up here and been up on this area. I'd imagine. I do want to show you sort of 
conservatory area, which we will come back to in a short while. Beautiful though. Put this dresser down here. Looks like a lot of VHS's it's been rummaged through, but worth. So just showing you that that's in the corner. So it'll give you an overview of the room from what it looks like in the conservatory. As I take a step back in. Wow, a painting, such a shame. That's been wrecked. And this complete setup here. Beautiful. I'm telling you now, you don't get this. Don't get a lot like this in the UK. All of this would have been smashed up in the UK, wouldn't it? It would. It's kind of a wonder into the kitchen in a minute. But some little bottles and that all hanging here. The freezer. Or the fridge. Oh, you've got to open it, haven't you? It's like, it is like the law. Oh, it's okay, it's empty. It doesn't smell. Got like this glassed door there. Wow. Whoa. What a kitchen. So we were in the other room. Obviously, it had those uh, emblems above the doors. Both doors came into the kitchen. You see, it has been trashed, unfortunately, but... Well, it is, yeah, it's a shame that someone's tagged all on the doors there. Um, like I was saying before, if you look... I mean, look, all this crockery, plates, they're not smashed up. <clears throat> so that is the difference. I would say about this place, a lot of this would have been smashed where it hasn't been, so. It is nice kitchen, isn't it? It's huge. I mean, all these little bits, I'd assume they would have been worth something. You know, got them bits along here. There is a table down here some reason coming along the main thing all your knives and forks your usual good stuff along with the old bits of paper it's so hard for megs to try and get a history simply because yeah if you speak for yeah he would be wouldn't you and look at the microwave. It's a microwave oven, isn't it? Built in by the looks of it. Got the oven there. Built in fridge next to it. That's open. It's not smelling, so I doubt there's anything in. Looks like this possibly where the hobs would have gone. They've been ripped out. We've got some glasses all up here. Well, I want to show you, look at this, this pattern along the top. Wow. That's on the extractor fan. And we still again got all these plates, saucers, cups. Lovely little bits. That's still intact. Even the dishwasher itself. I mean it doesn't look like they were gone that long does it? <laughs> like to look at it. Do you know what I find very weird about this house? What? In England, there'll be a house with graffiti in it. And you'd know it's literally 99% going to be trashed. trashed inside. Everything's going to be smashed, broken. But this, it's weird that there's graffiti on the TV. But there's nothing but there's, The glasses are still, you know, that's all like... That's what I was saying. Yeah. It's all set up. It's all... You don't get this in the UK. All these little bits would have been broken and smashed. That looks like a little stirring pot there. You know what I do like? Look at that beam. That huge, 
big solid beam there. It looks like a tree trunk in the middle of the kitchen, doesn't it? Yeah. It's lovely. What I didn't show you guys was sort of this. Come over with Megan. I'm excited to see the upstairs. I know, we actually haven't looked upstairs yet. So as we go up, we will be like experiencing it for the first time with you guys. But look at this. I'll come back over this sort of side. Coffee grinder there. Looks like possibly passport photos. Not 100% sure. We've got a little Tenerife snow globe going on there. Why is it little pieces? Medicines. It's actually a blood pressure machine. Wow. And then you've got this that was set up on the chair. I walk straight past it. Did forget this uh, last room before we hit the upstairs. Looks like this is possibly an office. We've got like a couple of games in Mercado. Got who wants to be a millionaire? Got quite a few. Little bits on the table here, on the desk. Looks what to be the, like an old photo there. Uh, what was it? Yeah, look at that. Quite an old photo. Oh wow, that is old. And then, come around. Wardrobe, still got some clothes and that in it down here. Might have been, yeah. Got like paints and stuff like that. Might have had like grandchildren and that, mightn't they? Let's have a look in here. Oh God, ugh. The bathroom. And I've got some books along here at the top. Like it's cross stitch. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna learn to do that. I'm gonna paint you a picture. Not paint, paint. I'm gonna cross stitch you a picture. <laughs> okay. These ones. Yeah. I think they're lovely. I never knew cross stitches like that. I need someone to teach me. Anyone? Anyone wanna come around? Chris will make you a nice cuppa in the coffee? Have some cake and biscuits and you can teach me to cross stitch. I'll be good. Right, out of this Whoa, lovely staircase. Look at that chandelier. Wow. That's beautiful. The stairs are all marble as well. Whoa. That ain't creepy at all. As you come up. It's this huge, huge hallway. I think we go right. Start off in here. Wow. I think I found the office. Definitely found the office. Look at that chair. Loving that chair. So nicely set up, isn't it? When you look at it all. It's like nursery furniture though. In here. There is, isn't there? Oh, look at this picture. I painted that. Yeah, the picture that Meg was on about. Up there on the wall. It does look painted. Nice. I'll tell you what, this is all. This is fabric on the walls. Is it? 
Yeah. You're glad to think so, aren't you? Come across into. Wow, this bedroom. Whoa, look at this. Wow. I have no idea how many bedrooms this place has got. But as we were saying, this is our first look into it. Looks like the wardrobes have sort of been rummaged through already. What you would expect. Looks like that could have possibly been like a little work desk for the lady that lived here. Then you've got all these drawers in that here. Doesn't look like anything special on there. Got this dressing table, which is nice. Picture down there. Is there? Got this little sort of set up and Meg's at. Wow. Dentures, innit? Yeah, teeth. <laughs> yeah. Tea. Whoa. Surely they'd be uncomfortable at the top. I don't know. I don't make them up Oh, I don't know. I don't have dentures. In that bed. There's no one in it. Don't worry, there's nobody in it. I like these little side units again. Looks like got Ralph Lauren perfume there. Hey, I think you've got Ralph Lauren perfume. Oh my. Right, come back in. Wow, this uh, wallpaper. It's got wallpaper underneath, but it's all fabric on top of it. Same with here. Wallpaper, the gold is wallpaper, but the flower is actually fabric. Wow, it's just a beautiful design. <sighs> the next bedroom. <sighs> Jesus. Literally, everything is left behind it, isn't it? I just can't believe it. This dressing table again. We've got some old photos and that down here. Quite a bit of memorabilia. Souvenir, Uteral. Wardrobes again, they have been ransacked. As you come around, you've got this lovely bed. The only thing that's ruining it is that graffiti? It's absolutely good about. Look at that. Some beautiful bits up here. This old TV sat here in the corner. And what is that? Looks like something to do with breathing. Obviously not 100% sure, but. And we've got some pills and some drink up here as well. Chris, what have I told you about your pants? <laughs> Stop taking the pants off. <laughs> what is that? Oh, there is a... <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> got dominoes here as well. But what, no, don't turn what's more dominoes. interesting? Yeah. It's Chris's pants. <laughs> Not my pants. Is his old photos all rolled up? Wow. Let's go through to the next one. Wow, what a bathroom. What a bathroom. Stunning. It's like everything's been left. You've got the toothbrush, the razors. Looks like a postcard along here. Nice double sink. 
hair dryers plugged in. And then we've got the bath and the bidet. Crazy bath, it's quite deep actually. And shower. Come out. Cross to. Wow, we would have been a baby's room. Double bed along here, the mattress has been moved. Look at them wardrobes, really nice. Again, another one of these dresses. All matches. I just heard noises outside, but what I thought was noises, but it's the actual trees that are overgrown at the front, banging. So, have a look in this next room. Wow, it's got some very sunbed. This is crazy. Never been to a place that has its own sunbed. Cracking. Got an old speaker system down here. Wardrobes, got that painting, got kids' games in that down there. So, football stickers as well. I think it was quite like family orientated, this place. It's a shame to see it the way it is. You got a cross and a picture of Jesus there. And you got another dresser tucked away in the corner. I'm gonna come across into possibly the master bedroom. And I say that because of how huge this one is. And the grandness of it, look. Got those two chairs, either side, huge wardrobes as we pan across. It looks like what would have been some drawers down here, possibly a writing desk at the top, pictures of children. And as we come back, you'll see this table and chair set up, which is lovely. You've got this huge bay window, well, I say bay window, it looks like a set of doors there but it doesn't lead on to anything. I believe they do, they probably do open, they do. It doesn't lead on to anything. But yeah, what a place. I'll show you this picture. What I would assume is the family there getting married. And from what I can see, the wedding dress. Beautiful. Well guys, um, that was quite a nice explore at the top here. We've got the basement, that is stuff in there. And wait till you see the outside, you're gonna love it. So stay tuned. We'll head back down here. Well guys, head down into the basement. Um, basement slash garage. It's, oh, it's not really a garage, is it? It is the other bit, is a garage. Is it? Yeah. Well, you can get cars in. Yeah, so I'll, I'll show you guys anyway. It's a garage. Oh, so, it looks like you've got chest freezers and all little nicky nacky bits in here, aren't you? Oh. Something smells in there, but. I'll just do this. It's going to change. Looks like those little crockery pots and. That one's huge. Them ones are worth a lot of money. They are, don't they? Yeah, they're like yeah, the cast iron ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lanzado. Okay. 
Look, these ones here, the serving dishes. Got a nice shoe rack there though, look at that. Got a fryer, oh, don't look in that fryer. <laughs> we got in there, it's like a baby car seat. Pet bowls. Us, Megan, then look at all these shoes. Moldy, yeah. I've been here a while. What looks like it? Like trainers and small shoes. More freezers, fridges. We've got in there bed frames. Oh, wow! I love them bed frames. Mattresses. Look at that. It's a baby in the freezer. Mm -hmm. More shoes. We swing around these ones of the ladies variety. You'll see that as we come through. Looks like a bit of a crap room. There is a massive thing there. Yeah. Look at this. This is the garage. Absolutely huge. We'll just have a walk around. You see there, it looks like there's some like wooden clogs in that there. Got sort of tall, taller, um, <laughs> can't think what they're called. Shelves, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Tall shelf, sort of WD-40, colour spray there. Wire brushes, extension leads, not even here. As you come down, looks like what possibly might have been an old radio system there. That clock, a lot of dust on there. Looks amazing though. I have a feeling that it's an old record player. No reason I say it's the bottom looks like it's got a speaker. We'll come across here. Yeah, it will be home gym, which is, I think, it's a bit crazy. It's like the Never newest, seen one. It's the newest thing facing here. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm, I've not seen like that in an abandoned house before. And as you'll see down here, that like this chair. The baby sat in it, quite creepy actually. Love these old chairs, so look, more of them down here. Old chests and tables, more furniture in here that's been stored in the side. Beautiful antiques, I'd say. All the wood. You'll see that's stacked up across there. Look at this wood. Tons of it for that massive fireplace. Upstairs, foosball table. Football Italia. Let's see what that jump over where Meg is. Oh my god, that is that. I know, look at oh, these. Photos. Old photo there. Amazing. I love old photos. Them. Wow. Whoa. Lots of old pictures, photos, paintings. Paintings? Look at these sort of old antiques in there. there. That's food, they look like pickled onions. Though. They do, don't they? I like pickled onions. Try one. Yeah. See what happens. It's like a little makeshift washing line here. Lawnmower. And got an old baby pram with the baby. Unfortunately, somebody's decided to hang it up there for some reason. Look at this, beautiful. Beautiful dresser that's been left down there. You've got the sofa along here. 
and show you this old pictures and again more down there it's just a huge place well guys we are venturing up the driveway um, I want to show you the outside of this house I am going to so this is the driveway as you'll see and this is the beautiful mansion right here and it is such a beautiful place I'm gonna come around it's not much of a back garden to show you guys in all honesty but it's the actual house itself that I love what do is this where obviously the car would have come down you see it's very overgrown very overgrown as we come through this could have been oh another garage nothing in there right guys so that is the end of the explore we really hope you enjoyed it we thought it was absolutely amazing um we are just crouching on the floor to an outro and behind us obviously all the pictures that were here that i found literally just in the corner yeah so we after never... this i'm gonna have to put them all back they are very dusty in that so i will be washing my hands um but if you liked it, leave us a comment, let us know what you thought, what your best room was, your best thing, your item. Um, give us a like and also make sure you subscribe to us. And for everyone who has subscribed already, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you very much. We're going to move out of the way and let you guys get a look at this. Photos, so you happy? I'm happy, and I hope you guys are happy, happy too. too. Bye. Bye.